Today's business notes are brought to you by Community Bank, the better business bank. Hello, I'm Stacy Smith, and in today's business notes, there are a lot of things happening that should come as no surprise. And one of those things is that consumer confidence plummeted in the month of April. The University of Michigan's monthly survey on consumer confidence dropped by its largest amount in the history of the survey. However, the survey's chief economist says that the declines were less than expected, and that might indicate consumers expect an upturn in the economy. Consumer confidence is important because consumer spending accounts for nearly 70% of the U.S. economy. In March, retail sales were down by nearly 9%, and that is now reflected in numbers released by two credit card companies. American Express reports there was a dramatic drop in cardholder spending, and the head of Discover told analysts that everyday sales are down 14% in April, and discretionary spending is off by 33%. Restaurants are closed, but people still have to eat, and they are eating more comfort foods at home. Kraft Heinz has already reported an increased demand for its products. The maker of Hellman's mayonnaise and other food items reports increased sales in the first quarter. And today, Nestle's reports an increased demand for some of its products like frozen pizzas, pasta sauce, and its Toll House brand. There's been a lot of talk about segmented or regional reopening of the economy. And as that happens, don't expect every national chain store to reopen. Retail stores like Macy's, The Gap, and Best Buy have indicated they will keep their stores closed during their early reopening phase until they can be sure that health concerns have been met and that there is an indication that customers will return to their stores. Not waiting, though, is Pittsburgh-based Dick Sporting Goods. The company has already reopened some stores in several states. Stock markets gained momentum throughout the day today, and by the time the closing bell sounded, the Dow had posted a triple-digit gain. Here now are the closing numbers. For the day, the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 260 points. The NASDAQ was also up triple digits, picking up 139 points for the day, and the S&P 500 gained 39. Despite those gains today, all of the indices registered a loss for the week. That's today's Business Notes. I'm Stacy Smith.